Yo, what is good, yo? It's your boy Ty back here with another video. I spent all day playing Triple Threat Online for Diamond Maxi Kleba. And guys, is it worth it? That is what I'm here to tell you guys today in this video. But before we dive into that, we're gonna check what Maxi Kleba goes for. If you are new to my channel and have not yet, please consider smashing that subscribe button as we are on the road to 60,000 subscribers. So here's the thing about Maxi, right? If you just get him in Triple Threat Online, you can sell the card for like 10,000 MT, which is actually kind of wild. And no way Maxi goes for this much, right? Like, objectively, he's going for 20K, which is not a bad price at all. Now, am I going to sell Maxi? Should I sell him? I probably should sell him. But after this gameplay, I'm definitely going to lock him in for Dennis Schroeder just because it's Dennis the Menace and I want to have some fun with it. But definitely not a bad budget for Maxi at all. I mean, 15,000 for a diamond card. Is a bad one. I'll let you guys know if it's worth grinding triple threat for in this video. Looking at Maxi here, 6'10, 240 pounds, 91 three ball, 80 driving dunk, 86 ball handle, defensively 88 across the board, good rebounder, 84 speed as well as a 90 lateral quickness. Tendency wise, 90 driving dunk tendency up and on down to the defensive tendencies here, which are incredible across the board. Badge wise, 15 out of favors, catch shoot, corner specialist, pig dodger, clamps, hard crusher, intimidator, tie spinner, trapper, quick first step, flexible, hot start, range extender, tie shooter, and volume shooter, 36 on gold, difficult shots, acrobat, relentless finisher. Also does come with diamond, rim protector, box, interceptor, moving truck, rebound chaser, pogo stick, post lockdown, contact finisher, slithery finisher, bailout, needle thunder, space creator, unpluckable, as well as gold, dead eye, green machine, hot zone hunter, slippery off ball, and the silver worm so badges you know you're probably gonna want to give him definitely the showtime badge and outside of the showtime looks like he has basically everything he needs now we're gonna look at maxi both on current gen and next gen the first thing i want to note is he does have the d'angelo rust release and if there's one thing i'll say about that on current gen i've been pretty butter with the d -Lo release like the d -Lo base lately like i really have been so if you see me greening a lot of shots it's probably just because i'm used to the d -Lo base but i don't mind his release at all i really truly don't uh, you compare it to guys like Sabonis or Katz, Maxi's release is so much smoother. It definitely is. There's no doubt about it. Combine that with, obviously, his shooting badges, you're going to have pretty good success with Maxi. Now, the one thing I do like about Maxi, obviously, his ability to handle the ball is incredible, right? You know, you can go one way, peak with Maxi for a green light. That's something you're not going to get with Carl Anthony Towns. But on the flip side of things, Katz's defense might be just a little bit better. But as far as just shooting the ball, Maxi is pretty knocked down. There's no arguments about that. Now, I do want to see... If he does get showtime dunks, because obviously in the half court, he's going to be able to move. He's going to be able to green shots. Now, if he gets showtime dunks combined with everything else that we've seen so far, Maxi's going to have potential to be pretty elite. He does get showtime dunks. I don't know about you guys, but I kind of like what I'm seeing so far for Maxi Kleba. Now, the reason I compared him to Cat and whoever else is because I think at center, Maxi could be an absolute cheese ball. I really, truly do believe that. And so maybe that's where I'll play him, you know, in my in my gameplays at that center position. I've heard a lot of talk about how the D-Lo release and the D-Lo base isn't nearly as good on next gen, which I can't necessarily disagree with, right? Right now, I'm not really greening with Maxi, whereas, you know, on current gen, I was green and everything. So Maybe the more shots I take, I'll get green with him. But right now, it's just not looking like the quickest release. And that's that's okay, right? It's okay. Not everybody's going to have that quickest release. But it is looking like it does take a while to get off, which obviously isn't that big of a deal considering he's got range extender, has some other badges. But I would like the release just to be a little bit smoother more than anything. Like right now, I'm just having trouble kind of timing the release on next gen. But that's just all part of it, right? It's all part about learning the release. But you guys can definitely see it doesn't look like the quickest release by any means on next gen. But he is going to have the Hall of Fame range extender. So, I mean, I think he is going to be a decent enough cheese ball on next gen. And once you do get that release down, I'm just struggling time in the release. I'm slightly late on legitimately everything I'm shooting with Maxi right now. Trying to get it sped up just that little bit. But yeah, I'm just, I'm a head case shooting with Maxi. But like I said, that ability to stretch the floor from deep is going to be super, super nice on both current and next gen. Now, I am going to move Maxi to the center position just because I think that's where he's going to be better at here. We are going to hop into an unlimited game here on current gen. Looking at my opponent here, we're up against Donovan Mitchell, T-Mac, Clay Thompson, Dirk, and Big Cat. So it's just going to be interesting to see how Maxi compares to some of those other centers like Cat, like Sabonis. How does Maxi compete? against those types of guys i'm excited to use maxi honestly when i got the card i really wasn't excited about it but after using him in shoot around on current gen i think he's gonna be pretty solid uh just because of his speed lateral quickness and just ability to move i think i mean he's gonna surprise some people most definitely good deal we're through it yes sir look at maxi moving the pick and roll i'm not gonna sit here a lot 
That's fine. Oh yeah, Maxi. Uh oh. Uh oh, we're running. You gonna leave him open? I didn't mean to shoot it. No, 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 no. That's my, that's my fault. I didn't, I didn't obviously mean to shoot that. That's so baited. Look at Maxi. Oh my word, that's a bait. Oh yeah, Clay Green. I got a lightly on that. Oh, cause he didn't want to go to the three point line. Oh yeah, Maxi, back to Clay. It wouldn't let me shoot it. That's fine. It'll let me shoot that one. There it is. Green light for Clay Thompson. Maxi's first assist of the game. Oh yeah, run. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at the defense. Where's Maxi? Into Clyde. I'll take an easy bucket. Maxi with his second assist of the game. I know y'all see my rotations. This is a gameplay. Why am I pressing? Like, this is a gameplay. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to press you. Look at Maxi. Oh my. Stop, man, Maxi. That's great defense. Hoff Intimidator popping up as well. To the cup, Maxi. Hey, I know you don't got showtime right now, but you can get it nonetheless. Look at Maxi. And thing is, obviously right now he's not super fast with the ball, but if you give him a little speed with ball shoe, he's going to be moving. Let me tell you. It's great defense. Oh, yeah, Maxi. Oh, yeah, Maxi, you're stop, man. This defense, no way. Do not throw yourself out the play. Good D. No way. That is so bad, 2K. Come on, man. Maxi, that's got to be green. That's a great look, nonetheless. I'm just slightly late. I got to get used to the release. Hey, Maxi, I'll take the, another Showtime dunk. I'm telling you, once you give him that gold Showtime, it's going to really be a game changer because, I mean, his ball handling ability is definitely there. Oh, my goodness. I should not be moving like this in a gameplay. Like, I really shouldn't. I apologize. Clyde, baby. Showtime. I just wanted to get Maxi takeover nonetheless. Maxi will take the assist on that one, though. Let's go. Let's see if he'll leave Maxi open. Come, What are you doing? That's just disrespectful. I don't know how that wasn't green. Thank you. Cookie! Um, um, um. Run. We got six seconds. Fine, Max. He's got to take over. Oh, yeah, that's green. Green me one, Max. Come on. That's my fault. I'm slightly late with everything. But you guys can see the limitless range. That's the only way he's going to get a stop. And I don't know what you're throwing, but you're literally just throwing anything. Chill. Oh, man. Look at Max. He's got bailout. That is so tough on defenses right there. Going up for a shot, passing it out for a wide open slam dunk for Clay Thompson. Great D. It's great D. That's great D. Uh oh. Claw time. Uh oh. Don't leave Maxi. Don't leave Maxi. That one's green. No way. That's slightly late. I just got to let that thing go, man. And that's the thing. I went back to next gen, shot around a little bit, and maybe that's why I'm so stunned right now. Oh, yeah. To the cup. Hey. What in the and one show time slam? Ew. <laughs> It's just, I don't know, it's, it's, it's just Sigs or somebody, you, I've never used Maxi before, so just give me a little break here. Keep him over there. Good, keep him over here. That's tough. That's great D though, Max. That's great D though, Max. Run. Great defense. Uh-oh. Come on. Come on. The fact that Maxi can do what he just did should be enough for you guys. Because if not, I probably would have noticed it because I guarantee I would have gotten plucked by now. Come on. You better guard up. Once I got one to go, it's going to be lights out. Maxi with another green light. Maybe a little too deep, but I wanted to test the waters a little bit. All right, we need to give Maxi a break. He's been in the game a very long time. We're still up eight after the last couple possessions, which is just fine. I don't need to. I don't need to blow in anybody out today. I'm just trying to get my get my shots up with Maxi. And why are you getting a load up, man? I'm getting sold. And I can't even really say it's Maxi's fault because he's doing his thing. 
But yeah, Maxi, that's what I'm talking about. Once he gets Showtime, he's not gotten a non-Showtime dunk. And that's what I love about Maxi. Oh yeah, put it down. What in the world? Chicken man, you can't leave Clyde Drexler. You're gonna he's gonna make you pay the majority of the time. And you guys can see Maxi's takeover meter once again slowly creeping up. That should be my bump, honestly. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, D Lo to the cup. To the cup. Ah, hop step. Chill. my goodness like just the way he can burst and handle the ball is so cheesy look at the that time box score for maxi 23 points two rebounds five assists two steals and one block an all-around incredible first half performance we've extended our lead to 13 here and I'm, I'm just gonna give maxi a couple more touches i mean he's decently close to takeover so look at how tight he's playing the screen y'all like how bad is that like he is playing the screen so tight because he's so nervous about what Maxi Kleba can do. And rightfully so. Like, you should be nervous after what he's been doing to you legitimately all game long. That's fine. Maxi is good. Like, defensively, I feel like he's so good just because of his lateral quickness. Like, it is absolutely insane. That's great defense. Oh, yeah. Board man, too. Uh-huh, Maxi. Uh-huh. Who's going to stop me? Like, you're not going to pluck him either. You're not going to get any plugs on, on him because he's got, like, he can't handle the ball. And that's the thing about him. Like, a lot of people aren't going to, like, look into Maxi, But I would encourage you guys to to look into it. Because of his ball handle and his, his ability to shoot the ball, I think, like, he has a spot on a lot of budget ballers types of teams. Good shot there from Draymond getting it going. And Draymond, Maxi, both of them can handle the ball. Makes it very, very easy on all my other guards. We're going to give him a couple more possessions. If he gets takeover, obviously, I'll keep him in the game. So if he hits a three here, you know, he's going to stay in the game. But he's nearing his end here. And obviously, he hits a green light there. Still doesn't get takeover. So maybe we should pull him before he gets takeover. But once I figured out that release timing, he's really been lights out. Can you just back up, my boy? Okay, that's deep, man. Oh, my goodness. Talk about range extender. Look at Maxi. Oh, now he's got takeover. We'll see. Is he going to guard me just a little bit better? We'll find out. I would, I, I would hope so, but we'll see. Time will tell. Come on. I ask, Oh, no, I missed. That's me. It's because he got a weird catch animation. That's my fault, man. Gosh darn it, Ty. Look at Maxi. Look at Maxi. Oh, that's my board. Oh, yeah, good defense. Yes, sir, Max. Give me a stop. Come on. I need a board from y'all, though. I need a board from one of y'all. Thank you, Dre. Run. Can you just back up, please? That's tough. That's tough that you gave that up off a sharpshooting take. All right, Maxi. You have done more than enough for me in this game. Final box score look here for Maxi. 35 points, 3 rebounds, 6 assists, 2 steals, 1 block. 13 of 19 from the field and 8 of 14 from deep. Just an all-around complete game for Maxi. Looking at my lineup here, you guys can see Maxi. It was inserted at that center position. The big thing that I think a lot of people overlook is that 90 lateral quickness rating. That's elite for a center in NBA 2K21 and guys. Would I recommend if you are no money spent to grind triple threat for Maxi? That's up to you because here's the thing, guys. You can get Maxi for what? 15 KMT. And for that price, is he worth grinding triple threat for? Probably not. Like 13K is not a bad price at all. If you obviously get original owner Maxi and original owner Isaiah Hartenstein, you can lock in for Dennis Schroeder. But I would definitely not encourage that. If you get Maxi, you can hold on to him because he is one of the best budget centers in the game. Comparing him to Cat, obviously Cat's a little bit better shooter. And even defensively, he's probably a little bit better. But Maxi can play make just that little bit more. So they do their own things. Obviously, Cat in the badge wise is a little bit better. But I'm telling you, for under 20,000 MT, you're not finding a better center in the game than Diamond Maxi Kleba. That is my final takeaway. Max Kleba for his value and uh, for just a triple threat reward is, is something that shocks me that 2K would put uh, an elite, a pretty elite center in triple threat online. But definitely go get yourself a Maxi if you are on a budget kind of no money spent type guy. Very, very solid player. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys and have a blessed day.